Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. This tool is called a Trumpet Bell Flare Mandrel, and they make one bigger than this for trombones. As you have probably guessed, this tool is for getting dents out of trumpet bell flares. This tool is not used by itself, though. It is used in conjunction with other tools. You may think that since this is shaped like a trumpet bell, you can take any trumpet bell and put it on there and just hit it with a hammer, and then it will, the dents will come out but it's usually not quite that easy. One of the reasons for that is this does not match up exactly to a trumpet bell. And even though trumpet bells look a lot alike, they are slightly different in the taper of the flare and the diameter of the tubing. So if you put a trumpet on there, there will be some wiggle to it. Because of that, if you have a dent and you just start hitting it and the size isn't quite right, you're going to do some more damage and you'll have more dents to fix rather than just the dent that was there in the first place. I have several trumpets with bell dents, and I'll show you which dents this tool works on and which dents it does not work on. This trumpet has a crease on the bottom of the bell flare, and usually this tool would work well on these type of dents, but somebody took a pliers and they tried to get the dent out, and they made a whole bunch of dents right here. This mandrel would not work quite as well on these dents, but you probably could use it if you needed to. For dents like this, I would probably rather use the bell iron than the bell flare mandrel. The bell of this trumpet has been badly damaged and you can see that there are a lot of ripples on here and the metal just goes up and down all over the place and it kind of curls in in a few spots. So the bell flare mandrel would probably not work too well on these dents either. You could get the dents out some of the way but the repair would not be as good as it could be if you used other tools. This trumpet has a few minor dents on the bell throat section, so the bell flare mandrel would not work at all on these dents. There's another tool that does work very well on these dents. On these dents I'd use the bell throat mandrel, which gets dents out in this area very well. This is another type of dent that this tool works very well on. There's a crease all the way around the bell, and if I show you this way, you can see that the bell is bent up, and pretty, it's pretty much all the way around the rim of the trumpet. The tool would work well on this trumpet. The dents are right here, right on the edge of the bell flare. I'm ready to get started on the repair. I'm going to work on the instrument with the dents all the way around the bell flare because this is the harder of the two. And if you can do this one, then you can easily do the other one. Chuck the mandrel into the vise and put the cornet on there. The bell flare has been bent up all the way around the cornet, so where it is making contact with the mandrel is right here where the crease is, and that's where you want it to be making contact. So put that back on there. Then you take the rubber mallet and you hit the bell, and you just move it around. And you do not want to take the dent out all the way, so you just take it out part of the way as you go around. You go around the bell as many times as you need to to get the dents out as good as you can using the rubber mallet. The rubber mallet does not get the dents out all the way, but it starts to get the dents out for you. That is about as good as those dents are going to get with this tool. And they're most of the way out, but it is still not a finished repair. Now I'm going to take out the bell flare mandrel and put in the dent roller. The bell flare mandrel does serve a purpose, but it is somewhat limited in what it can do. So after you use the bell flare mandrel, you'll probably use one of these tools to finish up the job. And this is the most common, and this is the dent roller. And also there is the bell iron, and this mandrel, and this is called a stubby throat mandrel. And also a rawhide mallet. But those tools are for another video, so look in the description below for links to those videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.